Hi, brother. The crowd goes wild. The crowd goes wild. What a moment to start. Dave, mate, I don't know what to say. How do I follow that? Don't know where to put my face. <laughs> uh, my name's Tony Quinn. Before I start, I'd like to just say something. You guys, throughout my entire career as a stand-up comedian, you got me the best looking audience I've ever seen. I mean, you just are something special. Thank you for making the effort. Thank you for staying until the bitter end. There's one act you've got to see straight after me. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I live in Leeds. Anybody else in from Leeds tonight? Yeah. And I live in Oakwood, which is um, a very nice leafy suburb out near 700 acres of beautiful parkland in the north of the city. It took a long time to get there, but I'm living there now. Um, one of the things I've been involved in the last three years, we've got a landmark there, which is a 100 year old historic clock. And myself and some of the other locals had realised after 100 years, it looked like it was going to fall down. So we started a campaign, we did a lot of fundraising, we set up a, a registered charity, we did loads of events, we did some music gigs, we even did a comedy night. We let people pay £100 to have their name engraved around the clock. We just did endless things to try and get enough money to get this thing done because it needed a quarter of a million pounds, which is quite a lot of money. Uh, the council wouldn't pay it, we couldn't get the money from anywhere else. We got a bit of money from the um, Heritage Lottery Fund and we did it. We raised £250,000 and I think we did a really good job. And when you live in North Leeds, you know, they're the kind of things that you've got to do for yourself. Now Sir Jimmy Savile's not here, do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> so we did it. But, I mean, the, the bit of a shame in that the, um, one of the things we'd like to raise enough money for the, the park, it's a huge park. There was originally seven miles of cast iron spiked railings went by down the park, which would have been a great thing to be able to afford to fix that and do it. We never got enough money. Um, and what happened, I don't know if you know this, that during the war, we actually, well, not we, you weren't there, that was. Um, <laughs> they were all removed, all the metal railings were removed. Um, and they were melted down for the war effort. And we gave them to Germany, mainly by dropping it on them. <laughs> anyway, we got it done, we got this fabulous clock restored and we had a huge event, um, we, we called it Oakwood Day, it was May Day this year, we set up a marquee near the clock, invited all the great and the good, we had the Lord Mayor, we had the local MPs, we had the local councillors, and the Queen sent her Lord Lieutenant with all his regalia, and he's got braids, he's got a sword, he's got all the gear on, it was a fabulous day, so we could say thank you to all the people who donated money and I was there being one of the trustees and a committee member shaking hands and you know the TV were there, the press was there, it was really nice to get that feedback. But I saw one of the people who had given us some money who I'm going to call Richard Boothroyd for the sake of the story. <laughs> the fact that it's his name as well. <laughs> he put a few thousand in but he wasn't over with the rest of us, he was way over there on the other side, you know there was a crowd of people and I could see Richard and I thought you know he gave thousands of pounds. I'm going to go say hello to Richard and just give him a personal thank you and thank him for the money. So I went over there and I kind of realised when I got there, he's, he's got a little dog called Woody. It's a little Westie, a little wire-haired Westie Terrier thing. It's a bit, it's got a few issues. But I went over to thank him. And as I went over to thank him, Woody lived up to his name. Clamped straight on my leg and started giving me doggy love. And I mean really, you know, really going for it. There was just no way to stop it. And Richard wouldn't do anything about it. He just looked and he just kept on laughing. And I've got this thing on my leg, just, just going like that, and it just won't stop. And what do I do with all these people? So I got my fist. <laughs> it's a useful thing. And I waved my fist between Woody and my leg. And he was still going. I mean, this dog had a lot of love to give. And he was, he was, he was on the home straight. I could see him on the home straight. Because he'd got his little pencil out. And he was about to write a love letter on my wrist and his trousers. <laughs> I got my arm in, I got Woody off, and I lifted my arm up, and Woody's still going. He's like, I got him in the air, and he's still going. And it took me 15 seconds to put him down. And that's why, even to this day, if I bump into any local councillor, a local MP, or even the Queen's Lord Lieutenant, they always say to me, Tony, we saw you up good day, wanking that dog. <laughs> Thank you, and good night. I've been Tony Quinn, that's been four minutes, 59 seconds, and you've been fantastic.
Tony Craig, and I do not have a microphone on my chin.